Mike Hoff back with me now. More baseball. The 2-7 matchup. Michigan taking on Ohio State. Good defense for the Wolverines early on. Yeah, great job. And, and when you're not scoring a lot of runs or getting a lot of hits, you need the leather to help you out. Takeo Thomas ranging to his left and then a nice stab there by Jimmy Kerr. Who keeps his foot on the base. It would be challenged, but it would stay. Bottom five, no score. Jordan Wogu to left center. It's a base hit for the sophomore, and that's the first hit of the game for the Michigan Wolverines. And when I say first, I actually mean last. More on that coming up in a sec. Next batter, we got runners on the corners. Jesse Franklin to left field. Pretty cherries there, but that's pretty deep. That'll score. That was a great job of hitting up in the strike zone. And again, Jesse taking it where it was pitched up and away, almost took it out of the ballpark in left field. So Wolverines lead early, but here in the sixth, bases are loaded. Wogu to center. That's going to get him out. Three runners standing. So, okay, it's still one nothing. Maize and Blue. Top eight now. Buckeyes down by one. Base is loaded. Carl Kaufman on the hill. Matt Carpenter to second base. They throw to second. The double play, not in time. Runner scores. We're tied at one. Next batter, still two outs. Runners on the corners. Dylan Ding. The line drive to right will bring in the run and give them the lead. It's 2-1 OSU. Bottom nine now. Wogu back up. And he's going to get a hold of this, Mike, but it's not placed in the right spot. Nope. Another scalding line drive, unfortunately, right to the third baseman. Scott Pose afterwards with Zach Zenzo. Huge win for you guys. Talk about what was going on in the dugout before you came to the plate as this game was progressing. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know my first two at bats, we uh, we knew we were kind of giving up some pitches, and, and I wanted to you know be a lead guy, be a leader uh, for the team to get it started in the eighth inning there, and I was able to come up big. We knew this was a big ball game, and you come up in a key situation, two outs with a potential go-ahead run. Tell us about the approach on that at bat. I was just looking for a fastball. I mean, uh, it was fourth time against the same kid, so I felt like I had a good, um, you know, grasp on what he was going to throw and this kind of sequences he was going to do. So I was able to get the fastball and drive him in. Now, talk about the mindset of the team as you're fighting in a tooth and nail game against Michigan, your arch rival here to play on. What was the attitude on the bench, and and does this add a little extra to when you found out who you were playing? I mean, yeah, we always love playing them, but um, just came ready to play. I mean. Uh, pitching was absolutely awesome. Defense, even though that air is up there, we played really well. And we were able to control it.